Romans 3 verses 9 to 20. What shall we conclude then? Do we have any advantage? Not at all. For we have already made the charge that Jewish and Gentile alike are all under the power of sin. As it is written, there is no one righteous, not even one. There is no one who understands, there is no one who seeks God. All who have turned away, they have together become worthless. There is no one who does good, not even one. Their throats are open grey, their tongue practice deceit. The position of vipers is on their lips. Their mouth are full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Ruin and misery mark their ways. And the way of peace they do not know. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Now we know that whatever the law says, it says to those who are under the law, so that every mouth may be silenced and the whole world held accountable to God. Therefore no one will be declared righteous in God's sight by the works of the law. Rather than through the law we become conscious of our sin. So basically law is help us to or become we become conscious of our sin that's the only thing we can achieve through the law but only the grace of God we can set free one of the main differences like basically person like me is born and brought up in a Pentecostal family then one of the dangerous is that to, to the place where I really saved because like all the non-believers means outside my family outside my church all people are but i am saved i am under the grace but it's quite hard even for me i never practiced the law of christ until i was saved so a child uh, until that he or she saved that person is under the law once they saved then it's more to the grace so before that one thing we really understand that here scriptures clearly says that there is no difference between Jewish or Greek. There is no between, no difference between people. Everyone are unrighteous in front of God. Everyone are worthless in front of God and everyone's a poison of wipers in their lips and cursing and full of cursing and bitterness each other. If it says that there is no difference between the flesh, the desires and all those things is different. But our situation may be different, but the desires are same. Even though there is no difference between the worst, most wanted criminal in this world and also my flesh. Because both have the same desire and equally un uh, unrighteous but only thing is one is like a degree of freedom to do but for me i'm just like in the circumstances of can't do anything so that's the only way but here it says that blood of jesus can wash everything and also we can continuously fight and to overcome from such a sin and also defeat the flesh and also overcome by the spirit amen